Today's tutorial is going to be on how to fix broken eyeshadow. If you checked out my Glossy Box surprise gift bag that I received from Glossy Box, I received this 3D Essence eyeshadow, which is this one right here, and it was broken when I received it. So, I'm going to show you today how to mend this mess. So right now, as you can see, all of the eyeshadow is broken. So what you're going to do is you're going to get as much of the eyeshadow that's outside of the base into the base. And then you see how there's these big chunks? You're going to break those up and make this all into a fine milled powder. So I'm going to do that right now. So you're just going to break this all up nice with a tool. I'm just using a popsicle stick that uh, you use for eyebrow waxing. And you just crunch up all these little pieces. Okay, so I have started to um, chop up the, the particles that are chunky to make them more fine, but as you can see, the powder is overflowing in the actual container. Now there's two ways of doing it. You can do this right in the actual container, or you can um, remove all of this powder, put it in another dish, and um, make it all milled finely in another dish. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to transfer all of this powder into another dish so that I do not make a mess. As you can see, I'm um, making all of these fall outside, so I want to keep as much of the eyeshadow as possible. So I'm going to transfer this powder into another bowl, and then I'm going to chop it up very finely in the bowl. Okay, so I got myself a little bowl. This happens to be my Japanese so sushi soy bowl, but that's okay because I'm going to clean it afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the powder and I'm going to put it all in this bowl like this. And then I'm going to get all the pieces that have fallen because they add up. All these little pieces that you think that aren't important, they do add up to the actual amount of eyeshadow. Now you want to make sure that everything is clean. Your hands are clean, that your stick is clean, that the, the, plate, the plate that you're doing this in is clean because you don't want any bacteria getting into this product because you are going to be applying this product on your eyes. So you want to be as sanitary as possible. I've washed my hands prior. I sterilized the stick and my plate is clean. So right now I'm just going to finely mill all of the little pieces that are chunky because you want this as like a dust consistency. Now the consistency of the powder is exactly how I want it. As you can see it's very um, uh, fine and if you see any chunks while you're moving your, your powder um, around, make sure that you just um, dissolve those as well. Just chop those up. And also, you're going to want to scrape the parts in the actual pan as well. So I did scrape out whatever was left over. And we are going to clean this because we are going to put the product back, but if you leave the, pro the pan like this, the product will not stick into the pan. So I'm going to just take a um, paper towel and I am going to just um, wipe off all of the red left residue and make sure that my palette that I'm going to place the product back in is nice and clean. Okay, so I have wiped the container um, with a paper towel and I cleaned it all so you can see that uh, it, the pan is nice and clean and this is how you want it for when you're going to put the product back in. Now my, pro my eyeshadow that um, I chopped up is pretty much fine. I don't think that I need to do much more with it. And the second uh, 
thing that you're going to need is some rubbing alcohol. And I just got this at Shoppers Drug Mart, which is um, kind of like a Walgreens or CVS. And you can use um, vodka, but I'm sorry, I like to drink my vodka, so I am not going to be using my vodka to clean my eyeshadow, fix my eyeshadow. So you're going to need this, and you're going to pour a little bit of this into the product. Okay, so here's the product. Now you're going to put a, little, a few drops in. Because you want to make this into a paste consistency, but you don't want to make it too watery. But if you screw up, um, don't worry because it will evaporate because it is alcohol. So you just have to, the drying time will be a little bit longer. But you're going to, you can always add more alcohol to it. Um, it's better to add a little bit and then keep adding as you need it, opposed to having too much and then having to wait. So I'm going to I think that's good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stir the alcohol into the product and I'm going to make a paste. So you want to get all of these like this. So basically, this is the consistency that you want. I did add a little bit more alcohol, but you, this is the consistency that you're going to want, okay, for your eyeshadow. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put this mixture back into this pot right here, into the original pot. Okay, so here is the pot, and I'm going to put the contents in here into the actual pot. So. What I'm going to do is I'm mixing this a little bit more, make sure that I have everything mixed. Okay. And then I'm going to put this into the pot. Okay, I think I've got most of it, so there you go. There's the empty pot, the empty bowl. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that everything is mixed and that I don't have any clumps because then it, your eyeshadow will become lumpy and it won't be smooth. You're know, trying to get rid of any air bubbles that might be in there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap this onto the ground, onto the table, so that it smooths out the surface. And that's what it looks like right there. So I'm going to let this dry because it's, it's wet and it needs to cure. So this is going to dry for a few hours. And then when it becomes a little bit more... Um, solid, we are going to flatten it to, to take out any air bubbles. Alright, so now, as you can see, that the consistency is a little bit soft to the touch, but we want to press down any kind of air bubbles that might be inside there. So what I've done is I've taken an actual um, piece of paper towel, I've damped it slightly, and then I folded it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press down onto the eyeshadow, and you're going to press down just to firm up any kind of bubbles that might have been inside the actual eyeshadow. And you might get the lines from the paper towel, but that's okay. Okay. So you're going to press down nice and firm, and then you're going to take it off, and you see it got a little bit of that on there, and then you'll see that there's a little bit of ridges on there, but that's okay, and then you're going to let it sit to dry completely, and then I'm just going to clean around here, and there you go, and you have a brand new eyeshadow that's good to use. And you can close that, and here we go. So it's like brand new.
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And thanks for watching. Bye.